everybody. I'm going to answer a couple questions today. The first one comes from both Rex and Maria, and they would like to know about the evolution of my work since I started at SCAD. I'm going to show you two works. The first one is one I did before SCAD. This is a painting of a booby. I liked it because boobies are fun. I'm very interested in street art, so latex, spray paint, stencils, markers, these are the things I use to create the work. I thought it was fun. I thought it was interesting to look at. These are the reasons I did the work. Lots of repetitive ideas in the background, lots of patterning. I'm interested in looking at those things. When I got to SCAD, I was asked repeatedly, why is this a painting? And I really couldn't answer the question other than the fact that I like spray paint and I like street art. So I have learned through the process and through the program that materials need to be used authentically. So if I really wanted to talk about boobies, I would use boobies. An example from my work now that relates back to my original work would be this laser cut that you see here. It started as an installation using fishing line and the repetitive idea comes from tying the knots with the fishing line. I then photographed it, put it through Photoshop, put it through Illustrator, and then it was put through a laser cutting process and drilled into acrylic. So now I have this work. I still have the repetitive ideas. I still have the layering of processes, but now it is authentic because it is all about the transparency of the work and the reflections and the shadows that happen when you look at it. Nick's question next says, your work has evolved so eloquently and authentically. Thank you, Nick. Do you ever pine for the days of traditional painting or do you feel that you're done with it? Right now, I don't know that what I'm saying can be expressed in paint. So since I'm working through this idea of authenticity, which I really grasped onto and feel like it is the most important lesson I've learned at SCAD, I'm gonna stick with more transparent materials. I don't know that I will ever be done with paint. Paint is where I started and paint is beautiful. So it's just not what I'm working with right now, but I think eventually you're gonna see some paint. Nick also said this, he says, through your, though your work has become much more about looking at and seeing through, the not element remains very prevalent. It's not addressed in any of your statements but it's very, very frequently there. Even in pieces like the masking tape sculpture and the laser cut drawings, there are strong allusions to knots. Where do you see this idea of entanglement fitting into your work? I really hadn't noticed, so thank you for asking. And when I thought about your question, I thought to myself, since my work is mostly about relationships, whether it be a relationship with a man whether it be my relationship with my mother or my friends, I feel that the idea comes from a conflict or a miscommunication. I am not a person who is really good with conflict. I don't like to argue. I don't like to have serious discussions. So I'm thinking that this nodding is the nodding up of my insides to get across the ideas that I want to get across without having somebody get mad at me or dislike me. So now that I have that thought, Nick, thank you so much again. I'm going to work with that as well. Finally, Maria asks, what part of your current work do you see as the growth point for future work? Once again, back to authenticity. I like the idea of using materials in a way that they are naturally interested in forming themselves into whatever I'm making. So I really play with the materials that I'm using until I come up with something that seems very natural. So I like this idea of transparency and I would like to continue with those things in a bigger scale. So I'm still very interested in creating installation pieces and filling a room. I'm still interested in finding different ways to present these installations after they've been taken down or in places where they cannot be installed. So I'm still going to angle that direction for a while and we'll see where it takes me. Thanks so much.